Welcome to Apostolic Archive. We have gathered many wonderful sermons through the years and we have decided to share them with the world. We hope you enjoy. Please subscribe to our channel. Please like the video and comment with something you take away from this message. Also, hit the bell below so you can receive an update as soon as we upload new content. Blessings. We have never believed in more than one. We just pray to one. And he said, we even have two dances, one for victory and one for war. So we read where the white man dances. Glory. But he said, General Jackson, many years ago, made it a point in his life that he was going to conquer us and that he was going to put us on a reservation and said he did it. And said those that didn't want to go had to stay here or be shot. He said so. We decided we'd better do one or the other. So some of my relatives have gone and they live in Oklahoma now and some are still here. But he said now we can't go but just so far to the north, south, east and west. He said we are on a reservation now. We're not the proud people that used to ride the range as far as we could see we could ride. We're different now. And he ducked his head and he closed his remarks with this. He said, folks, he said, you've come to share our heritage today. I can tell you it used to be proud, but it's not anymore. He ducked his head and said, we are a conquered people living on a reservation. Something stabbed me in the heart. And I said, oh, God. Don't ever let the United Pentecostal Church think that the devil's going to do us the way that General Jackson did the Cherokee. Because we are the church with a divine revelation heritage. And the gates of hell will not prevail against this thing. And I refuse to stand if God tarries till I'm 40 years old, eight years away. I refuse to stand in a pulpit and duck my head and say, I'm talking to a conquered people. Because, folks, we're going to win. I said, we're going to win. You're already ahead. Don't let the devil have you now. Don't let him have you now. Oh, young person, flee fornication. Flee adultery. Flee the lust of the flesh. Flee the things of the pride of life that would destroy you before you ever got started. Let the gift of God dwell in you. The devil wants you to come near unto him. But I have made up my mind. I've got a cause to stand my ground and to stand up for a name that's above every name. I will not be destroyed. I close with this today. If you'll stand to your feet, I'm going to close. I could preach another hour. But I'm going to close with this. Do you realize that Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego had two chances to give in? <laughs> and they stood their ground for the Jackson. Glory. When the choir started singing and the trumpet started blasting, they didn't even ask one another, what do you think we're going to do? They just all did it. They stood there, and the whole bunch hit the deck and did obeisance to that God. But they didn't. Glory. Right. The king said, go get them, bring them over here. Let me talk at them just a minute. I think we need to reason with them a little. Come over here, boys. What's the deal here? Well, sir, I'm sorry. That ain't our God. We're not going to bow to it. Now, men, you got to understand, it's a charismatic society. Everybody's brothers now. And when we get back to Jerusalem, we'll bow with you. Well, I'm sorry, King. He said, I tell you what, I'm going to give you another verse. I'm going to give you one more chance. They went back and got in line. One of them punched the other and said, one to nothing. Here come the second verse, and they didn't bow again. Woo! And brother, he said, bring them here. 
Shadrach punched Abednego and said two to nothing. You get the point? We're too far ahead to be defeated now. He said, heat that fire up seven times hot. I'm going to throw them in there. And you know what? Now, I'm going to show you something, young man. The Bible said they didn't even take their coats and their hats off. Can you imagine being cool enough to be thrown in a fire and not even taking your coat off? Brother, when you make up your mind you're going to live for God, nothing's going to disturb you. Nothing's going to upset you. Chuck us in. That's fine. They said, if God, God's able, he will. And if not, that's all right. We're still going to die ahead. And they got thrown in the fire furnace bound from head to toe. And when they walked in, the bonds just dropped off and they just started praising God because they had a visitor in that fire. I want to tell you something, young person, because you have a divine revelation. Anytime you get in a battle, always count one more on your side, would you? There's always one more. And here's the whole punchline. Shadrach and Meshach and Abednego didn't know how the story ended. They thought the fire might be all of it. But they said, we're with it. Chuck us in. We're ahead. We're not going to die defeated. And when they walked in, they didn't know if the fire was going to be put out or if they was going to burn up. But I want to tell you something, young people. You've got a heritage to look forward to. We're not going to be burned up. We're going to be raptured. And if men can walk through a fire without knowing the end results, don't you think you and I can walk through some trials and knowing what's going to happen? You say, Brother Johnson, how can you preach that? It costs a lot to preach that. But I can preach it today because I refuse to go to hell over a battle in the ring of life. I'm ahead. I'm going to win. And he knows he's got but a short time, but he might as well just throw up his hands because that devil ain't going to whoop this man. And I believe you can say the same thing with God. I can do all things. I can do all things. Let's love him. Come on. Let's praise him. Hallelujah. We're going to win. 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 I'm ahead. I'm ahead. I'm ahead. I'm ahead. We're going to win. Let's love him. Love him. Love him. I got a cause to live for God. I got a cause to live for God.